Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Lightning Talk session at Berlin Buzzword 2020. I'm your host, Atita Arora, and I would be your host for uh, the Lightning Talk session. So I would be uh, hosting the Lightning Talk session tonight. Personally, looking at the list of topics that we have for uh, the session today, I think I'm super excited. And I look forward to each one of these talks. I hope you guys have a good time. Uh, just to let you know, if you have any questions, please keep them posting on the MySys Live channel. And um, I think without further delay, let's welcome the first uh, speaker for um, tonight. Uh, Nick, over to you. Great. Hi there. Thank you very much, um, Adita. And uh, welcome to yeah this this very quick uh, lightning talk on native dense vector scoring in Elasticsearch. Uh, it'll actually be my my first lightning talk. I normally do longer ones, so let's see if we can get through everything on time. Um, I'm ML Nick on Twitter, GitHub, and LinkedIn. Principal engineer working at IBM uh, Center for Open Source Data and AI Technologies, where I focus on machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence open source software. Uh, we're a team of over open, uh, 30 open source developers at IBM focusing on a wide variety of data and AI open source uh, software uh, frameworks and, and uh, uh, projects. So we'll start uh, just talking about what are vectors. Um, and, uh, you know, a vector is essentially a ordered and indexed set of numbers, uh, very much like an array. Um, you have different, you know, dense and sparse vectors, but, but uh, the dense vectors we'll be talking about today are very much an array. And why do they matter? They, they actually uh, arise in many different scenarios. Um, so we can represent various things as vectors, including uh, images, uh, music, movies. Uh, it's used to, they can be used in uh, e-commerce and recommendations, social networks, um, and even documents. So one example uh, that where vectors are very common is in recommender systems. And in recommenders, we have uh, a set of users and, and we have a set of items. So for example, in uh, movie recommendations, uh, the set of items might be a, a list of um, a set of movies or videos. And we can see it here on the, the bottom uh, left where we represent the user ratings given to a set of movies as a matrix. Um, and it's, uh, it's a sparse matrix. Not every entry is filled. So that means that not every user has rated every movie. And a typical approach for doing recommendation, uh, recommendation systems and recommender models is matrix factorization. And that takes this matrix that we see on the left and it splits it up into two smaller matrices. Um, and the first is a user matrix and the second is a movie or item matrix. And each entry, uh, each, each column or row, as, it, as the case may be in one of these matrix, uh, matrices is actually a vector. So. It turns out that to create, uh, to compute a predicted rating for a movie and a user combination, we just take a user vector and we perform a, a linear algebra operation, a, a dot product um, between the user vector and the item vector that is a part of this matrix. Um, and similarly, if we want to find similar items which power things like uh, uh, products you may want to buy, uh, we do a, a similar uh, cosine similarity. So this looks uh, very conceptually similar to the way search ranking works. We start with a query, we represent it as a term vector, kind of binary term vector perhaps, we compute a similarity, and then we sort the results uh, by similarity effectively. So can we use the same set of machinery to, to compute over arbitrary vectors that are not necessarily the typical um, kind of search query vectors? So for example, in recommendations, we have a user vector, um, the dot product cosine similarity machinery is quite quite similar to what we use in search ranking. Um, so scoring and ranking work, but the term vectors don't necessarily work because the way that, that uh, arrays and vectors are stored um, in Elasticsearch you know, natively up until now has um, has effectively been meant that the, 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 the array gets stored as an unordered um, uh, set of numbers. So we lose that ordering and we lose the ability to do the operations we need. Uh, on those vectors. Uh, so there is a way around this. And up until now, uh, the way to do this was to, to use a, a different representation for the term vectors, um, and then use a custom plugin, which would be your scoring function. 
um, which would allow you to to do things like dot products, uh, cosine similarities, and and other arbitrary functions. But this did, did require uh, custom code and loading a custom uh, plugin uh, in Java, and that adds complexity. Um, so it definitely, it, it, it works, but um, it's it's not necessarily the easy way to do things. Um, and for example, in environments where you don't control necessarily the uh, the cluster. Um, and you can't add plugins, it makes it difficult to use. So this has uh, been solved recently in Elasticsearch 7, a native dense vector type, effectively an ordered array, stored as a binary, uh, was added in ES 7.0, and then vector functions in 7.3, um, built-in vector functions of the type that we need for, for, for doing things like uh, similarity and, and, and scoring dot products and cosine similarity. So you can see there that we've got um, a dense vector uh, that we can we can have as a mapping in our properties, and we just need to specify a, a dimension. So this gives us everything we need if we compare to the to what we had previously. We can take a, a, a vector that represents, let's say, a user or an item in recommender systems, or an image if we're doing image search, or uh, a document uh, that is the output of a machine learning model or deep learning model. And we can apply native scoring functions like dot products and, and cosine similarities and so on and get our ranking. And this is all, now all built in. We don't need to do any, anything funky. Um, so I'm going to very quickly try and show an um, example of this. And this is a um, Elasticsearch Spark recommender that, that uh, uh, I've created it at, uh, as part of my work at IBM. This uh, very long notebook, I won't go through all of it, um, but works through how to kind of load data in, into Spark um, from Elasticsearch into Spark, run recommendations, and then uh, over movies using this exact functionality that we talked about. So the key here that I just want to highlight is that, um, as you see, we can simply create a, a vector type for users which specifies the dense vector type and the dimension, and similarly for uh, for items or movies in this case. Um, and then all we have to do is actually plug straight into a standard script query, script score query, um, where the score function is exactly cosine similarity um, or dot product. Um, and that's it. At the end of uh, just using that functionality, we, we get um, recommended movies, and we get similar movies. Okay, so yeah, uh, thank you for sticking with me for these, these probably a little bit more than five minutes now. Um, I encourage you to go and check out the code pattern that I mentioned and uh, check out codeair.org and find me on Twitter and GitHub. Thank you.